for the exercise, I would like to encourage you to produce uh, a shape like a, I call xenomorphic structure. The xenomorphic structure is uh, like a, an alien architecture, an alien structure, like a pillar or uh, could be an arch. This is what I have already done with my definition, like a spine with vertebrae or like mm, a trash air. Trash air. Okay, so to generate these things, I create pipes with a random shape, random movement. And along this pipe, I use a plugin called Dendro to create, to keep some sh shapes if I have already drawn, like a vertebrae, uh, a small element, then you can reproduce and flow along the curve. Can use vertebrae or something more mechanical. It takes time to compute. So it's a natural mechanical or something like completely mechanical with a nice pattern on it. Here it is. Okay, could be very nice for an architectural place. Place. So I'm going to create a definition with you. It's what I call xenomorphic structure. New document. I create circle. With a radius. I divide it. Two elements. This is a number of tubes. I four six. Then I create multiple layers, and I going to create interpolate curves along along the points. So I move. This is the eight of the final shape. And I create five step from the bottom to the top of the shape. If I create an interpolate curve around, along the, the point, I need to flip the matrix. We have straight line. I don't want straight line. I want to rotate randomly the points. I take these points and create a max angle of rotation oops sorry with a random value I want to to create too quickly random value from 0 to 90 give the angle of rotation in degrees I rotate all these points yeah. I need a certain number of value in this length. And a seed, different seed. Here, yeah, I take these seeds. And hide some things. I have always the same seed, so I could craft. And I want to manage the seeds, so I create a multiplier 
the multiplication with a quotation seed. Oops. So I can change the random seed value. I extrude the shape, the original shape. Is the value of the eight. We can create cap. Sometimes my curves are inside the volume, so I want to put it on the surface of the cylinder. So I create full curves. Onto that shape. Now I can create pipes with a radius of 15 millimeters and a flat end. Custom preview. Here is the shape. So rough shape. Okay, I can Increase the number of tubes. Now oh, I like this type of shape. It's not enough organic, so I add a jitter. Jitter value, and again another seed control and a jitter value Too much. Okay. That's good. Now I have this uh, shape, this type of shape. I'm going to populate this geometry with mesh in order to create something like a flow along curve. For this, I use a perfect fish component, twisted box, twisted box curve variable. I get the curve, the size in X and Y, the size in X and Y. I want something <coughs> regular in X and Y. Between um, 
minus 20 to 20 it's okay now I want to control the number of shape along the curve and create a range here and the number of shape from 1 to 50 now I need to control the rotation called R1 so I create another range R1 with the same number of value and this is here I can create the, num the rotation value in degrees for example if I have 12 elements they all rotate around their own axis to create a 90 degrees rotation from the bottom to the top this is a box now I can create a morph box or box morph box morph this is a target box now I'm going to reference some some shape and create a mesh set one mesh for example this one create a bonding box and this is a bonding box this is the geometry oh that's good but it's not well oriented so i'm going to rotate my object i want the xy plane x z plane Now, YZ plane. Okay. Create a preview. Okay, it's better. No? I populate my curve with this mesh and with the pufferfish component called twisted box. Now to create a shape that I can cut in layers for 3D printing, I must add a linear shape. This is this B rep. Okay. Now I can create a solid union with this shape. This shape creates flatten and it doesn't work because there were some problems with B reps to create union. So I use an alternative way with a plugin called Dendro, which works very fine to create some addition with mesh and so on. So I create create settings. You see, there is already some values. I keep it. I create here. Yeah. Mesh to volume. So I keep all the shapes, I create them into a dendro volume. Dendro volume. I create another dendro volume. 
Where is this element? I have a dental volume, and now I can add volume un union. Button. Now I have, I have one dental volume that that can transform into a mesh from volume to mesh with the same settings. It's okay. Now I have uh, only one mesh with all my shapes. I can change the shapes of the mesh of the element by selecting this mesh so <clears throat> sometimes it's not working because it generates an invalid mesh here I can adjust the settings for ISO value by entering 0.001 sometimes it fixes the problems not great if I want more accurate machines I can decrease the voxel size this voxel size is 1 I can put 0 0.6 and it's better hmm. okay so now let's have fun and try to compute a pillar or an arch with this type of morphology then we can call it like uh, an architecture wall part from auto space is a normal architectural part so then after you can get it for 3d printings and can have a very nice stuff. Thank you, bye.